My next one, I I will take if that's okay with you guys because it's quick and easy. Please uh, accommodate the seller's preferred possession date. So, um, something that buyers uh, may not know, um, I try to educate my buyers to this as quickly as possible. Is that usually the day of or the day before the offer night, we'll get an email from a good agent that says, "Hi, you showed this property. You might be bringing us an offer. Um, here's kind of an outline of what we're expecting, the do's and don'ts, and our." preferences. And one of those line items might be the seller's preferred closing date or range of dates is this. If you can if you can do that, that would help us. So I will take that to my buyer and say, this is the date they want to close or a series of dates they want to close. Can we work within that? And if you can, do it. And I'm, I'm going to keep saying this, but anywhere where you can get a little leg up, it's kind of like you want to take this, you want to take this property to the prom. So you're trying to be as charming as you possibly can be and give it everything that you've got. So working our way through this list, it's like, have that deposit check, have this, have that. But also, if you can, accommodate that date. That's going to make something else easier for the seller. And if you can't accommodate that possession date, accommodate it anyways. Like, True. just figure it out. Find a way. Find a way. <laughs> Absolutely. Find a way. Yeah. So what if you have to stay in your parents' basement for a week or stay in a hotel or stay in an Airbnb? Suck it up again. Just like the mm-hmm. eight dollars that you have to pay for your deposit check, and if you don't mm-hmm. like the possession date, is not perfect for you. <laughs> suck it up, <laughs> figure it out. Like I just, it drives me insane. Like you want to buy a house in Toronto, but you're yeah. not willing to be flexible. I'm sorry, inconvenience. You have to, yeah. yeah, you don't want to be inconvenienced. Sorry, give the seller the possession date they want. That's it. There is no other option mm-hmm. here. You just do it. The, there's a reason why they call a seller's market a <laughs> yeah. seller's market. And when you're a buyer in a seller's market and there are things that you can do other than pay another $250,000 for the property that you're looking for for your dream house, suck it up. Suck it up. Do it. Do them. (laughs) Do those things. Yeah. It will make a difference at the end of the day. Yes. 